Okay, so I finally got the MacBook Pro 2019 16-inch. I've been working uh, with a Mac Mini uh, 2014 version to do music production. It was uh, surprisingly powerful for the specs. It had, uh, I believe, a two-core CPU that was hyper-threaded to four-core, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it really, really performed very well for what it was, but I was definitely hitting a wall. <clears throat> I was making updates to recording software and plugins, and, and they were taking more resources, and it was getting to a point where I just couldn't uh, finish a song uh, without it, without the computer freezing. So, so I've been keeping my eye out for a new MacBook. I was pleased to see that Apple was creating a 16 inch model uh, that had better thermal cooling than it had in the past. I know that there were some issues with uh, the laptops overheating the past couple of years and fan noise and, and all that. So when they announced the 16 inch model and the video reviews were in and they were looking good, I thought, okay, well now's the time for me to, to take the plunge and get a MacBook Pro. So I bought this thing and I have been really, really happy with it. It's, it's running way better than the Mac Mini used to, though the Mac Mini was a, a beast for what it was, but this thing is, is light years beyond that. Well, the one thing that I was concerned about when I bought this computer was I had read online that there were reports about excessive fan noise when using this computer with external monitors and recording software. And for me that that wasn't, just wasn't going to work if that was going to be the case because my computer sits right next to my microphones and when I do vocals or any sort of acoustic instruments where I'm micing it up, I didn't want to have any fan noise picking, being picked up. Uh, so when I got this MacBook, I was uh, con concerned about that. And in fact, when I plugged it in, at first, when I didn't have any external monitors plugged in and I was running music software, it was running great, very silent like it is now. Uh, but once I plugged in some external monitors, uh, I have two external monitors plugged in and the, the fan noise got to be pretty excessive. So I found this app called Endurance that is supposed to underpower your CPU. I'd initially tried this Turbo Boost switcher, but I just couldn't get it to work. It was, the, the, the text was getting, uh, it uh, wasn't loading. It was saying, you know, Max said it was an unsigned app and it wouldn't load it. So I know a lot of people have a lot of good things to say about Turbo Boost Switcher. I just couldn't get it to work. So I went and looked for another app that could do the same. And that is when I found the Endurance app. And the Endurance can be app can be found at at this web address here. I installed it. It was very easy to install. I just downloaded it and uh, added it to my desktop. And when I double clicked it and opened it up, it opened up uh, in the in the menu bar up top here. And you can see here, I'm gonna open the Intel Power Gadget and you can see my, my CPU here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of flip back and forth between the, um, the low power mode on the Endurance app. And you'll be able to see kind of how, how it affects the CPU usage. Uh, that Intel Power Gadget is a r really good app. Um, to, to show how the, the CPU is working. So if I turn this off, actually, if you see here, you, when you turn this on, you need to select this setting uh, in order for it to, to slow down the CPU. So here I'm going to turn it off and you can see the blue line there in the middle of the frequency. You can see the CPU starting to go into turbo boost. Um, it, I don't really understand the technical details of it, but I know that the CPU kind of spikes or lowers depending on how much power the, the computer thinks it needs. But that was what was causing uh, fan noise when I plug stuff in. When I went into low power mode, the fan noise went away. It was, it was, uh, it was really great. Uh, it works flawlessly, and it, it's it's uh, re really uh, made me even happier with this purchase. I, I was thinking for a minute that I might have to return this and get more like a desktop computer, something that had better thermals. But uh, this this is working fantastic, and and I get the I have the ability to to move around and do editing and blog posts and and, and video and, and everything else with this laptop and then take it down to the studio and plug it in and do all the recording that I, that I like to do. Um, it's even got this really incredible 
microphone built in, which is what I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, you, you know, in the past, I would have to hook up my my nice studio mic in order to get a good quality uh, audio. Um, but this seems to be to be working. This internal microphone on this laptop. So, yeah, I think it's it's really a great great app. I will put some links below to like all the peripherals, all the dongles that I use to 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 connect my external monitors, to connect my Focusrite interface, to connect my MPC controllers so I can program beats. Uh, all, all that stuff I'll put down below. I researched it a lot to find the right stuff, and um, it's great. Uh, the, the USB uh, dongle has power delivery, so it's powering my laptop while I, while I have peripherals running, and yeah, fantastic stuff. Highly recommend this, and, and, fa and the fan noise has been no issue for me after I installed the Endurance app. So if, if you're having doubts or concerns about potential fan noise on this laptop, um, I could say from my experience with the Endurance app and the way I have things set up and the recording I'm doing, I, I'm not experiencing any issues like that. Okay, thanks.